we got another vehicle today. We're going to be doing a starter on a 2006 Toyota Corolla, 1.8 liter. First thing we want to do is we're going to take off the battery cable with the 10 millimeter bolt. You take that off and move, put that to the side. And first we're going to take off this uh, fan assembly here. And we got 10 millimeter here. 10 millimeter also over here, right down there. We're gonna take that one off. And we're gonna take off this little um, coolant reservoir. And we're gonna take off this connector here. All righty, let's go ahead and get started. Up out of there. So what I had to do with this connector, I only got one hand today, so y'all bear with me. Um, so what I did is I, this connector was on here. Has a little button right here, a little clip. You push this clip on top of it, push that in, push down on that, and pull that out of there. Take off these little clamps right here. Take off. All righty, we're gonna go ahead and take. Also, we're gonna take these two, these clamps off here. Clamps up out of there, and there's one also over here. Take those clamps up out of there with a like flathead screwdriver and get it in the back of that. Be careful with your wiring, don't bust anything. Or there you go. Get that out the way so we can get that fan up out of there next we're going to take these 10 millimeter bolts off one moment all right and then took that up out of there make sure you, it's going to be a um, hose that's going to be on here just turn that and take that up out just pull that fan up out of there it's pretty simple get it right around this little hose right here all oh, it's really simple and i just took it out there and put that to the side and there's your starter right there. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna take off this cover here to that power bolt. That should be like a 12 or 13 millimeter. Then it's a connector down here. We're gonna take that off next. First, we're gonna start off with this bolt here. One moment, let's see what size we got. So yes, this bolt was a 12 millimeter. So I put a, ratch, a, a wrench on there and loosen that up and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off with my fingers. There we go with that bolt there. Put that to the side. And here we're gonna take this little power connector off. And right up under there we have another one. Have a connector. And we're right up under here. And there should be a little tab up under here. You push that in and pull it out. See how well this goes. Just push that in and pull out. There we go. A little tab right up under there. See that tab? You just you push that in, push that in and pull it out. It goes right in just like that. Push that tab in, pull out. Alrighty, next we have your 14 millimeter bolt here. We're gonna take that up out of there. And I believe we have one. Let's see where that other one is. One moment, let me find the other bolt and then I'll let you know. All right, that other bolt is right here on, on the top. Right there, you see that bolt? I'm gonna get to that one and the one at the bottom. 
right there. And then we got that one right up in there. All right, let's get to it. 14 millimeter. All righty. What I did is I got a 14 millimeter right up in here. Take that out, pop that loose with a little short extension, 14 millimeter on my 3 8 ratchet. And I got a, this one on here. Pop that one loose. Was able to get to both of them, no problem. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take those bolts off and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we got that one up out of there, that old one. It was a lot more simple than I thought it was. You know, it was right up in this little section here. Just took those bolts up out of there by hand after I loosened them. And now we're gonna put this new one remanufactured in here that we got up from O'Reilly's. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in and get that one bolted down. One moment. Alrighty, what I had to do is I went on ahead and put that new one in there and you know same thing as the way I took it off and uh, tighten these up with my ratchet put those bolts on there those bolts are back on and tighten down with my ratchet all right the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put it back on these connectors here this one goes right here at the top with the 12 millimeter bolt Goes in right there, clip right on in. There we go. And then I'm gonna take this bolt, put this bolt, get it to get it started with my hand. If I can move this plastic piece up out the way, hold on one moment. Easier without my glove. All right, let's see. Put that on there just like that. All right, go ahead and get this one started. At least. seem to be in place. Now we're gonna put our fan assembly back on. One moment. All righty, they're fitting, those, they're fitting the grooves really good. Down there, you gotta make sure you get that in those grooves. Just like they came out, put it just in, just like it came out then. Put your bolts back in. Bolt right there, bolt hole. And the bolt over on the other side. Make sure you put those bolts back in. Put back on your electrical connector. Take this hose here and connect this hose back on. Just push it right back in and you're done. And make sure you put that negative battery cable back on and that's all you gotta do for a starter for a 2006 Toyota Corolla. Thank you very much, have a blessed day.
You do not have to jack this vehicle up. You can do everything from the top. Thank you.